he gave off a good impression that he was heavily influenced by just some some kind of outside force. A family in Queen Creek heartbroken tonight after the death of a high school senior. Uh, so they are grieving right now and they don't know for sure, but this family believes his death could be connected to a scary online suicide game that's reportedly trending on social media. In the East Valley, tragedy blows through a Queen Creek neighborhood. On the morning of August 4th, a search for a missing teen. I knew the longer it took that they were gonna, they were gonna find my son alive. And that's exactly what happened. On my way home, I just kept looking at every tree, every tree. A small memorial now marks the tree that helped 17-year-old Rudy Bencomo end his life, leaving his family in despair and disbelief. Sometimes I think he's going to walk in the door. I know that's not true. In his room, the clothes he was wearing on his last day and the backpack found nearby. No note, no explanation. Just more confusion than anything. And me and my mom were just trying to like rack our brains to see, you know, where did it start? You know, you try to go backtrack. The youngest of four, Rudy was just starting his last year at Queen Creek High School. I always thought not my son because he was a good kid, got straight A's, um, polite to everybody. But earlier this year, his family noticed a change. He would isolate himself. He would always be on his phone and it was like, his phone was a drug and he needed it. They say the changes in his behavior didn't stop with his obsession over social media. At one point, Rudy became a very good uh, liar. Lies that we were abusive to him and all kinds of different things. Even more disturbing, they say Rudy tried to commit suicide twice before. During the first, he ended up in the back of an ambulance in front of an audience. My son was sitting there gasping for air yet he had his phone on his side and he was Snapchatting at the same time. I found that very disturbing. His mom says she immediately got help. He was in therapy three times a week and she monitored his social media. It was then she heard about a sinister game called the Blue Whale Challenge. When I read that, it was already. The dark online game consists of 50 days or demands, starting simple and gradually leading to the last challenge, suicide. News reports here in the U.S. show it may be connected to the deaths of a 15-year-old boy in Texas. He was always making everybody smile. And a 16-year-old girl in Georgia. And here in Arizona, the Maricopa County attorney warned parents back in May. That he was influenced by something, and something had a, a good grip on him. Although there is not a lot of evidence, the Bencomos believe it's a possibility Rudy was involved in the Blue Well Challenge. I've noticed that there are several challenges of uh, cutting yourself lengthwise and it's very specific. And he changed his Twitter picture just before he died. It tells you at the end when you take your life you need to show some kind of sign symbol um, pertaining to the blue whale. And to me water uh, waves is part of a blue whale I would believe. And then the Z's in the back of his picture would be sleep. All of these demands paving the way for online manipulation. The sleep deprivation, um, no contact with people to balance our thoughts or perceptions and soon enough that distinction between reality and not not real becomes blurred and at that point um, it's, you know, you're willing to do or able to do things that you normally wouldn't do. Valley psychiatrist Dr. Michael Yasinski weighs in on why the cutting part of the challenge is crucial. I mean, one, a way to gauge incrementally and in, in how far someone's willing to go. And he says the stories Rudy told about his family could also play an important role. Or to ultimately take part in this kind of challenge and, and kill himself in this manner, um, you, you would almost have to make up these lies to... to disconnect yourself enough from the ones that you know care about you. Dr. Yasinski is highly concerned about the dangers of social media and how kids have become desensitized to traumatic events like suicides. It's like no big deal and nobody they don't take it seriously. In the past year, three students at Queen Creek High have ended their lives while several others have tried. 
The latest numbers from the Arizona Department of Health show teen suicides have skyrocketed, a shocking 81 percent since 2009. I'm here today just so I can help other parents. Well, if you are a parent, we're going to tell you some of the things that you can watch out for and also let you know what the school is doing after Rudy's death. Uh, that part of the story is coming up at 10 o'clock.